Today was the first day of trial for two animal welfare activists accused of stealing piglets from a Utah farm. The men claim the animals were injured in horrific conditions. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser has the update tonight. Emily. Kelly, it's been a long day in court for everyone involved. Jury selection took over 12 hours today and it just wrapped up 20 minutes ago and they still don't even have a full jury yet. These pictures show activists with the group Direct Action Everywhere back in 2017 carrying two piglets in their arms. They're at the Circle Four Farms, a pig factory farm run by Smithfield Foods. The animal welfare group calls this moment a quote rescue and an infiltration. County prosecutors call it theft. The group captured the break in all on video and in photographs. They hope to use it as part of their defense to show motive, but a judge ordered only still photos saying the video was too graphic for jury. I view it honestly the same way as if there was a dog trapped in a hot car about to die. I would probably smash the window of that car to save that dog's life. Even though that's technically breaking somebody's property, they did a nonviolent action and they saved the lives of two piglets who would have just been discarded by the industry anyway. And for them to drag this out for five years over what the state even admits is only $80 worth of property, I think really sh shows the uh, abuse of corporate power at play here. Today, dozens of activists were outside the courthouse to support Wayne Shung and Paul Picklesimer. They each face over 10 years in prison. The alleged break-in at the farm actually happened in Milford in Beaver County, but the trial was moved to Washington County due to alleged threats of violence towards activists from law enforcement. A majority of the Circle Four Farms has since shut down and was at one point the county's largest employer. I'm told those two piglets were taken to a vet and are now alive at an animal sanctuary. I reached out to the Beaver County Attorney and the Utah Attorney General's office, but they've been tied up in court all day and are not available to comment. Smithfield Foods says they're withholding comment for now and that they, quote, will let the legal process run its course. Back to you guys at the desk. Emily, thank you. Another animal rights activist making headlines tonight. A man carrying a smoke flare and wearing a t-shirt with the words righttorescue.com on it was tackled by L.A. Ram veteran linebacker Bobby Wagner just before halftime tonight. You're seeing these pictures. Video from Associated Press reporters of the game show the tackle from the sidelines as well as from the press box. The quote, right to rescue, is something animal rights advocates are hoping to establish with the Smithfield Farm case here in Utah.